Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome, welcome to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, your host, as you about to rock with us, embark with us, or as Russell Wilson say, let's ride. As we got another exciting show for you today, we got lots to talk about. We got Chicago Sky moving on. We got the Aces moving on. We got people showing up to practice. And Raquan Smith, he's showing up to practice, ready to practice. You might see him in the last preseason game. We got lots to talk about. LeBron signing extension um, and more. But what better do than just to drop some music and start out our show right? And you know, all music that you hear on Dragon Sports Live is given to me by you. It's people that you know, people that you want to know. And the more important thing is go out and support their music. Show them what's good and how we get down. Because this is Dragon Sports Live, everybody. So, again, welcome, welcome to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I am Dante Payne, your host, as we about to embark on another exciting show. But before we do that, let's jump into some music. So, first up on Dragon Sports Live is... Lamar Creation, I Need You. Check it out here on Dragon Sports Live. It's about to go down right now. Come show me why you love me, babe. It's yours, you can have your way. That's what you love to say That make me harder than a rocky day Shawty, let me pull you close Now let me show you why I love you most You think you know, but I swear you don't Leave you, girl, say I swear that I won't I need you Just show me what you want Give you what you need Girl, I'm trying to help Fulfill your fantasies It's only one shot So you better give your all, girl Oh girl, hey, started at 3 a.m., ended at 9, start all over, let's do it one last time, before I gotta go to work, but I'd rather put in work, girl, and work, girl, hey. From the front, from the back, from the side, to the side, yeah. down the go, down the ride. type of way tell me all your fantasies anticipation makes it hard to brave got my hands where they supposed to go where they should go your secret guards where i want to grow still tripping off that shit you love to say while we sipping on a chardonnay you can go ahead and leave that lipstick on the glass you know i'm gonna Down to go, down to ride. I'll do whatever I can to get to you, cause I need your front. From the back, from the side, to the side. Down to go, down to ride. Cause I 
something about your body's telling me you won't get naughty Let's get closer, take this party to the floor Baby, I've been watching you impress me You're an option, you're an option I would love to explore And screaming for more God is screaming for more Screaming for Take me over, take me under Found a lover who would love me to the core This could be forever Take one breath and then we'll never have to worry About our hearts being torn And screaming for more God is screaming for more Screaming for Tweaking up, Taurus and our sandals geeking now. Red dress with your blessings peeking now. Round trip, we'll be back just sneaking now. Mountains, we can move with molecules, juice and Tylenol, cushion dominoes, push the envelope. You're my energy, sent together and call it synergy. Dance like there's no one there. When they look there, they say, Oh, bad, rosy. Stop the time, throw the space in my mind, call it quits, close the soil. Welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. If you just tuning in, that last soul that you just heard was Maestro's Soul of Science screaming for more. So check it out on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you get your music at. But be sure to support those artists. But more importantly, let's get back to what's happening in the MLB right now. So in the MLB, we got that playoff race looking real good. It's getting closer and closer for our the NL Central, but the team I'm going to talk about is the Atlanta Braves, and then we're going to talk about the other teams. See, the Atlanta Braves, they locked up, they, they locked up Michael Harris the second on the eight-year, 72 million extension, as well as Austin Riley a week before on a 10-year, 212 million, and then you also had Ronald Acuna Jr., and Ozzy Ivies as well. Everybody is under 25 with the exception of Matt Olson. He's 28, signed through uh, 2029, but all these players are young and under. So they're going younger, but yet these players also been doing exceptionally well, been batting really well, um, and getting RBIs. So it's like that playoff push, it's it's real with the Braves right now. Like currently with the standings, it's looking pretty pretty good, I might say. But the race, like I said, the race for the final wild card spots and then some of the race for position, like I said, is super close, and you won't believe like how close it is in one division. So, like, when I look at the standings, right, nobody's catching to the Yankees right now because they're 76-48, and, and 
they won their last game too. So it's like they want they've been on a three game win streak. Tampa Bay is right under them at sixty seven and fifty five, followed by Toronto Blue Jays, who's sixty six and fifty five. And in Baltimore, 64 and 58. So with roughly about, I want to say about 40-some games left, that American League Central East, I mean, is very close. So anybody can make it. Boston potentially can be vying for a new um, wild card, you know. So it's close in that, but it's based off total record. So you go to the Central, right? We got the Cleveland Guardians. They at 65 and 56. And they're currently on a – they just won their last game, but they're 6-4 and four in their last 10. Followed by, the, you know, the Twins. Minnesota. They 62 and 59. Then the White Sox is 62 and 61. So, basically, the White Sox is a game and a half behind the Twins. Then they can jump second. But like I said, it's like 40 some games left. Anything is possible with that. Anything is possible. Houston Astros looking good. They 79 and 45. Followed by the Mariners and then the Texans. And then you go down to the National League where you got the New York Mets who's good. But again, it's going to be a close battle for first and second because you got the Atlanta right on their case. So. You got the Braves, Lutie, right on the case at 77 and 48. Two games behind the Mets. Then Phillies, then the Mar- then Miami, and then Washington. Central, though, you know, Cubs actually moved up into third place, but they may depend. I don't know. Anything's po- like I said, anything's possible. They may catch up to Milwaukee and pass them. But Milwaukee will have to go on a losing game, Cra- a crazy losing game streak. So anything is possible. Dodgers in 85 and 80 and 37, best record in the league right now. So, yeah. Ain't nobody getting coming nowhere close to them unless they just go on a straight losing streak, you know. Padres, they 68 and 57. So if they go on a straight losing streak, then I can I, I can understand. But yeah, it ain't happening for them. Ain't happening at all for them. So hey, it is what it is. Now, speaking of Dodgers, though, they did bench Cody Better, who has been struggling. And it only has two hits in his 19 at bat attempts. So he's been struggling. So they, they benched him. But to be honest, when you got a long season, some players don't end up struggling. But I think he deserved to be benched. And maybe this is going to open up his eyes so he worked twice as hard because you're supposed to have that mentality of always keep working and just keep going. But Dodgers also lose uh, Bueller because this is his – he has second Tommy John surgery. So, they will be out without Walker Bueller. He undergoes a second Tommy John surgery, flexor tendon repair. And it's the second – yeah, the second time in his career that he has that done. Keeping him out of 23 as well. So, you know. Injuries like that, uh, got to be careful with. But I hate when you lose a starting pitcher like Bueller. He's a good, fast arm, but maybe he, I think he's probably throwing too hard, too, or you got to change up the mechanic. It's somehow, some way. So, it is what it is. Um. We did have a couple other injury lose. So, Minnesota Twins, Buxton lands on IL with a right hip strain. So, he'll be out. He's on the 10-day IL right now. We're going to see how that goes. They may upgrade him to the 60 IL. But we'll see how that goes. we see how that goes. Yankees closer, Clay Holmes, he's out with injury because of his back. 
he had back tightness and he like I said he'll he'll be gone he'll miss a few days or a few weeks depending Pirates infielder Rodolfo Castro he was suspended for one game and that's the young man that had the phone in his pocket so per rule policy he's not supposed to have the phone and he had it in his pocket and it slid out basically sliding into the DMs of the base being safe so he's suspended for one game for that you know that happens sometimes you get caught up in the moment you meant to grab the mitten but you grab the phone instead yeah it be that way Padres bobblehead night on the other hand is canceled and will be placed with Juan Soto t-shirt night and that, they only made that cancellation because you know Tatis Jr. is suspended for 80 games due to PED from a sus trying to treat a ringworm. So he's suspended for that. Um, also, he did, he went ahead, since he's banned for 80 games, he went ahead and got the shoulder surgery as well. Because remember, he had this shoulder injury last year and the year before and just didn't really play on it as well. He's coming back from, so left shoulder, left wrist. When he broke his wrist off the motorcycle incident, so he 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 take. Actually, I think he's doing a smart move getting the surgery down. Uh, since you're not gonna be playing for any games, and yeah, you're not playing for eighty games. You might as well do what you need to do instead of wait to the off season and it might get worse. To me, the smartest thing you could have done was that. So. Big ups to that. Sorry about the suspension. Just take it one day at a time. Live the best day. That's the only thing I can say to you for that. One day at a time, y'all. One day. Mets call up third baseman Brett Batty, who um hits a home run in his first debut and it goes wild. But they also lose. They had lost, well, possibly had lost Taiwan Walker, but he's back. And pitcher Carlos Carrasco to a strain of bleak, so he's out at least a month with that strain of bleak. But Taiwan Walker, he's back in the lineup and will be starting for the Grum on Thursday instead of the Grum starting. It'll be Taiwan Walker, and then watch well, should say Wednesday, and then the Grum will go Thursday, either Thursday or Friday will be his next schedule starter. So. That's what's happening in the world of baseball right now in the MLB. But, you know, we got more to come. And when I let y'all, when I get that information, I will definitely let y'all know. So be sure to keep locking and listening to Dragon Sports Live. Yes, sir. We're going to give y'all some more music here on Dragon Sports Live. And then follow after the music. We're going to go back. We're going to talk NFL preseason finale is wrapping up this week and more coming up in Dragon Sports Live. So be sure to stay with us. Keep rocking with us here on Dragon Sports Live. Now, let me go ahead and tell y'all what we got coming up next on Dragon Sports Live. So we got Ross Augustus, the new face of R&B. We got Young Bro as well following Ross Augustus. Like I said before, this is Dragon Sports Live. Check it out. Rock with it. Yeah, I'm in love with your kids. I can't never hit and miss. Call me up, girl. 
Keeping my mind on things above. I will not hold on to nothing that's broken off of me. I won't. Keeping my mind on things above. She didn't in heavenly places. Now you say I'm fully known. No, no. Lord, I rise up, I rise up my mind on you. When it's all over and done with, I'll be found in you. I rise up, I rise up my mind on you. When it's all over and done with, I'll be found in you. You were the one who redeemed me, yeah. Down in the valley, you see me, yeah. Open the word up, I'm loving these promises. Father, I stand in agreement, yeah. Look at this place, I'm seated, yeah. I ain't perfect, I reach for that. You can find me in the holy sanctuary, right with my leader, yeah. yeah. When I call, you answer me, got heaven on my mind. Lord, you said I'm righteous, now you fill me with new wine. I'm gonna lift the name of Jesus up with every line. He's dead like every time, time, time. Letting go with these burdens. Meditate on this book you gave. I'm surrounded by mercy. Reach for heaven, I'm full of faith. I'm in love with this fellowship. Your testimony is my testimony. May the God of peace come and rain down on my territory. Keeping my mind on things above. I will not hold on to nothing that's working off for me, I won't. Keeping my mind on things above. She didn't have any places, now you say I'm fully known. No, no. Lord, I rise up, I rise up my mind on you. When it's all over and done with, I'll be found in you. Rise up, I'll rise up my mind on you. When it's all over and done, we'll uh, be found. I give no room for hesitation. Uh, if it ain't your thoughts, I don't want it. I'm arresting the one who's greater. Uh, Reveal your love, stick your only heart. I want to be display it. Yeah. Teach me to love so I can show it to my neighbor. Jesus Christ, my savior. Yeah, you turn my life around and set me on the way I should go. Now I'm on holy ground. Sing to the king from the top of my lungs. From the top of my lungs. I surrender me. Lord, have anything in me that's in the rain. Oh, you can have it all. Have everything now. Teach me to walk so it's you they see. I'm keeping my heart on all you are now. This heavenly mind is all I want. Heavenly mind is keeping all I want. Keeping my mind on things now. above. How will not hold on to nothing that's working off for me? I won't. Nah, nah. Keeping my mind on things above. The beauty of God, the beauty of God. Seated in heavenly places, now you say I'm fully known. No, no. Lord, I rise up, I rise up my mind on you. When it's all over and done with, I'll be found in you. I rise up, I rise up my mind on you. When it's all over and done with, I'll be found in you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. That last song that you heard was Young Bro, Things Above. There's a lot of things above. You got people that's thinking they above everybody else. You got people that's, you know, 
They think they top flight security. They think they that. But, you know, we also got people that's deserving of the money, but ain't really getting that money. And that person is Raquan Smith. To be honest, I think the Bears should have just paid a man, let it be. But he did show up to practice. He'd been held out of practice long enough, but he did recently show up back up to practice and was in pass for participant in practice, not just on the side doing drills. And we might see him in the next preseason game, which is the final preseason game, and then we'll have our regular season. So it's about, let me see, the last week is this week, followed by, I think, like a two-week break, and then the first game is September 11th, kicking off that weekend. So I'm looking forward to that. And, yeah, I'm ready to get down with that. Well, we did have a successful surgery for Zach Wilson. Um, he did his surgery was successful. No timetable for his return yet. So we'll, you know, we'll see where it goes there, how that goes. But if he's not ready by week one, Joe Flacco is, as I heard, will be the um, starting quarterback. And you know, he won the Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens. So if Wilson's not a go. They're going to ride with Joe Flacco. We'll see. Um, y'all know Aaron Rodgers has been expressing his frustration, in case y'all didn't know, but let me all tell y'all. he been expressing his frustration with the young catchers of the Green Bay Packers because drop balls or not running the correct routes. Like, a couple of those balls that Jordan Love threw in a couple of those preseason games wasn't Jordan Love's fault. It was poor route running. So, he just wants them to play with, you know, play with, you know, consistency. Be consistent, catch the ball, do what you got to do. That's what he want. And he shall get because he Aaron Rodgers. He a bad man, as Stephen A. Smith like to say. But, I don't know. Let's see. You know, it's the first year without Devontae Adams. So, you know, let's see how it goes from there. Now, the quarterback quarterback room in Seattle, who's going to take Russell Wilson's place, it's it's coming down to a wire. Like, right now, it looks like Geno's winning that. But we'll see because Drew Lockley's going to get the bulk of um, the first team reps with first team on for this upcoming preseason game. So, like, we'll see yet to no name who's going to take over for Russell Wilson in Seattle since he's now in Broncos country. Let's ride. Since he's there, we don't know who's who's going to take over now. We don't know who's going to be the starting quarterback. Um, same thing goes with uh, – The Patriots. We don't know who the offensive coordinator is going to be yet. We don't know if it's going to be Judge or Patricia. And right now, both of them are splitting plays. So it's like it's a Patriot right away. Maybe Bill Check, but Bill Check is more of a defensive coach. So maybe one of them is going to be calling offensive plays, but we don't know. We don't know. They haven't announced that yet. Um, But Patriots also lose Malcolm Butler. He will be on IR with with a hip injury. So, we lose him. Dolphins place Adam Shaheen on IR and wave offensive lineman Cole Banwert as well as Devontae Detman. They waved him. Um, Shaheen basically has a knee injury right now, and he would have been a Texan had that trade been not voided because he was injured and failed the fiscal. But – He's placed on IR, and he's going to rest and get the knee up. Like, he didn't want to be traded, but, you know, sometimes we we get things done that we don't want done, and that's really the all actuality. But he is on IR, still with the team, but on IR, so we won't see him this season while he gets the knee surgery rectified and taken care of. Um, Panthers named Akeem Aku in the starting position for his, was it, left guard, so offensive tackle. So 
he'd be started at left guard, move the other person to right guard. But they also named Baker Mayfield as the week one starter, which ironically, it's against the Browns. So now both of them been looking good. They've been sending the races close, but I think it's because it was going against his former team. So he, he coming out firing on all cylinders. He looked good in preseason. Don't get me wrong. Baker has been looking great in preseason. So has Sam Darnold. They both showing improvements. They both showing progress. To be honest, I really think the Panthers is going to be switching between. Uh, they're going to be switching quarterbacks. Like it depends on what team they playing against. Oh, Mayfield, Mayfield, you struggle against this quarterback. Sam Dart starting against this team since you struggle against this team so much. Blah blah blah. Vice versa. I feel like they're going to be switching quarterbacks. Who's starting all this week? And that just like how I strongly feel. Like you're not going to have a true starter. You're going to ha- either that or. One quarterback is going to start the first half. The other quarterback is going to finish the second half. I feel like that's what's going to happen, especially when you got two young quarterbacks on the team. So I feel like that's what's going to happen, and that's how it's going to go down. Hey, it is what it is. Steelers, so far, Trubisky is named the starter for the, Trubis- uh, for the Steelers. Wow. Trubisky started for Trubisky. Yeah, but the Steelers place also plays – Wide receiver Anthony Miller, who was with the Texans and was on the practice squad last year for the Steelers on IR, and as well as Carl Joseph with an injured foot. So Miller played with the played quite a few seasons with Trubisky, which I can understand why y'all brought him in and try to bring him over because he's familiar with Trubisky and you know how Trubisky works. Cool, but now you injured. And you on IR it, so it that kind of sucks. Chargers safety Derwin James Jr. gets a four year seventy six point four million extension, and you know it is what it is. He he relaxed, he cool, calm. He is the highest paid safety in the NFL now. I I like it. It was a good move with them. Too bad other teams can't really do that like the Bears, but, you know, that's another story for here or there. And it was crazy because uh, Deshaun Watson was fined $5 million and suspended 11 games, but he's also been shut down for the rest of preseason, so you won't see more no more Watson until the 11 games. So that's about November 13th, November 14th or something like that. That's when you'll see him. So, hey, it is what it is. Now, other news, Lamar Jackson has been practicing no contract. Hopefully, he gets that contract rectified before week one, which is what he planned on doing and he hopes to do. So, you know, it is what it is with that. I hope he can get it done too, though. Uh, Coach Ponter, Coach Ponter, Ro, Roberto Sanchez torn his Achilles and is out likely for the season. He suffered a torn Achilles in practice while doing sprints. So that will keep him out for the entire 22 season. And he and Sanchez, he was used as a punter and kickoff specialist. So since joining the club as an undrafted free agent in 2017, and he signed a four-year extension in 2019. So I don't know. And then, you know, they implemented, the coach implemented wind sprints to kind of and after this summer they practice basically to supplement players conditioning the team has generally joined its workouts this season and was wrapping up a 90 minute practice when Sanchez sustained the injury ouch he's ranked ninth 
in NFL in punts taken inside the 20-yard line last season, and he's also one of the best directional kickers in the game. So let's see what happens there. Command, Washington Commanders move Chase Young to the reserve PUP list. He's out at least the first four games. He's not quite yet ready to come back. Remember, he suffered a torn ACL last year. So, yeah, he won't be there for the last, the, at least the first four games. You won't see Chase Young. And, you know, he tore his ACL and MCL in the game November 14th last year versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And he un- he went underwent that reconstructive surgery, lifting his recovery time. But that move to get down, Watson made the move to basically get down to 80 players required by Tuesday's 4 p.m. Eastern deadline. But they also plays backup center Tyler Larson on Achilles on the same list as Young. So physically unable to won't get them back for the first four games. Yada yada yada. It may be longer. That's October 9th against the Tennessee Titans. So we also got to ramp. You're going to have to ramp up like that and stuff like that too. Just to get him back game ready, unless he finds some way to stay game ready, just not working. And, you know, yeah, just not playing in the games. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Shaquille Griffin retires from the NFL. He basically said, stated that he loved football, but more importantly, that was his plan B. His plan A was to play with his brother, which he did when they both played together in Seattle. But his brother is now a Jaguar. And like I said, he just wanted to play with his brother. He was waving the Seahawks, wave by the Seahawks in 2020. And his brother stayed with him and skipped practice the next day. So he's saying the early retire, early career retire. Now, if y'all don't know who Queen is, he's the linebacker or defensive back who has one hand. His hand was amputated at the age of four because of a band traumatic syndrome disease, which is a rare disease that happens, but he was a beast. He was a monster with it. And... He's also be able to join the NFL League Legends community. So, that's good for him. Possibly he only played, appeared in 46 games with, well, I should say he had 46 tackles, a sack. And he had the opportunity to play with his board, but now he's going to his plan A. Which is is hard. It's crazy when you see a young football player retire early and stuff like that. And he he don't want nobody to feel sorry for him because he got one hand. He want to show you that he was a beast. So big up to him. Wherever you go, have blessings on your endeavors and have fun with it. That's the best way I can put that and say that. So, um, running back Gus Edwards for the Baltimore Ravens was placed on the reserve physically unable to perform list Tuesday, which was slight, also sidelined him for the first four games. He is one of two players in NFL history to produce at least 700 yards rushing, average five plus yards per carry in the first three seasons of, of a career. So that's big up. But he had tore his uh his he tore his ACL during practice last September, which caused him to miss all the last season and signed a two year 10 million extension in June, 
last year, and he's yet to play a game since, which kind of sucks. Because you signed an ascension, but you haven't been able to play. So Mike Davis, who's entering his eighth season as the starting running back in the first two preseason games, could play a prominent role in the season. He had an excuse absence Tuesday for the birth of his child. Congratulations to them on that. I love to see when players leave for their child. Like, I got one, too. So if he was here right now, he would be trying to get in on the show and let you know that he's here. My little man, my mini me. We love him, though. I, I, I love him dearly, so we'll see with that. Other injury news, the Ravens' first-round pick, Tyler Limbaugh, returned to practice. The rookie center was out, injured his left foot August 4th, so and was limited during media view portion of practice, but he did a snap to a quarterback, Lamar Jackson. And defensive back, I said backup defensive tackle, Travis Jones, Expect to miss three to five weeks after spraining his left knee in the fourth quarter of last Sunday's preseason game. So, he'll be out three or four weeks. So, well, others. So, we'll see how that goes. And we'll know what happened. Like I said, I'll let y'all know who's going to be the starting quarterback for the Seahawks. You know, Pete Carroll is going to keep pushing that back. And I'll let y'all know more. But without further ado, we're going to hop right back into some music here on Dragon Sports Live. Be sure to check out Dragon Sports Live on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or wherever you get your podcasts. Be sure to check it out because this is Dragon Sports Live. And I'm Dante Payne, and you're rocking with us. Better yet, we're going to say it like this. Drug Sports Live, let's ride. Ain't that the best way to say it? <laughs> well, without further ado, we got Keith J on Drug Sports Live. Tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about Check shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gang. Type shit, type shit, type shit. You ain't never met a nigga like this. Not like this. Say type shit, 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 type shit. You ain't never met a nigga like this, like this. Once I hit her, she gon' take the night shift, night shift. Watch the trip, baby girl, you might slip, might slip. Type shit, type shit, type shit. You ain't never met a nigga like this, like this. Once I hit her, she gon' take the night shift, night shift. Watch your drill, yeah. baby girl, you might slip, might slip. Type shit, type shit, type shit, type shit. You ain't never met a nigga like this, like this. I write it, I write it. they vibing, they vibing. Keys yeah. in my white tee, they like me, they yeah. like me. Yeah, she yeah. Type it, type it. I might hit, I might hit. No wife. Just one night, bitch. One night, bitch. It's L suck, cause, cause, cause I'm type lit. I'm type lit. Uh, I'm doing number side kick, they might flip. They might flip. Said I just, Said I just do, my shit. do my shit. Just like this, like this. they biting. They biting. On my fish, got your bitch on my stick. She, bite she bite tied on my line like my shit. My shit. Type shit, type shit, type shit, type shit. You ain't never met a nigga like this, like. This. Once I hit her, she gon' take the night shift, night shift. Watch the drip, baby girl, you might slip, might slip. Type shit, type shit, type shit. Type shit. You ain't never met a nigga like this, like this. Once I hit her, she gon' take the night shift, night shift. Watch the drip, baby girl, you might slip, might slip. This my type shit, shit. I, I like this, ooh, look at my wrist. This is not no right leg, ooh, this a Rolex. Hell yeah, I'm gon' flex. I work hard for this shit, shit. Boy, I run a tight shift. Got this shit on vice grips. Grips to be up in a trap with naps. Trailing sidekick. Now I be up in a rap. I ain't even right this. Catch me riding in that four and sliding with my side bitch. Never wrote the sideline. I'm starting five in my shit. Tight shit, tight shit. You ain't never met a nigga like this. Once I hit her, she gon' take the night shift. 
What's a drip, baby girl? You might slip. Might slip. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. You ain't never met a nigga like this. Like this. Once I hit her, she gon' take the night shift. Night shift. Watch a drip, baby girl. You might slip. Might slip. Type shit. Hit a spot of fucked up my wrist. Type shit. Sometimes I doubt and I complain, it's not what grace belongs. You got me up and you save me by grace alone. That's why I'ma tell them. When I was hurting, I was searching, I was down and lost You the last person I called and it was all my fault You picked me up and brought me in, you could have left me out Real talk I told the Lord, forgive me, but I told the Lord I love you. I praise them all in public. I praise them all in public. I live the sacrifice. I know the Lord will love it. When I was falling, you came and picked me up. I was down and out, you ain't let me give up. Everything you did, I can't thank you enough. You came and picked me up. Came and picked me up. Welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, if you just tuned in. Don't worry, you ain't missed nothing, because you can always catch it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or wherever you get your podcasts. This is Dragon Sports Live. That's all you got to do is go to the search bar, type in Dragon Sports Live, and boom, there you go. You can catch up on everything that you missed. That's right. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, Bulls. The Chicago Bulls will lose undrafted rookie Justin Lewis. He will undergo knee surgery. He's on a two-way contract, I believe. So, they'll lose him. Uh, There will be no games on Election Day this year. Which, that's... You know, that's the first, so, like I said, no games on election day. And, the 76ers finally reached a settlement or agreements over what hell pay with Ben Simmons. So, that's been rectified. That's been taken care of. And, eh, hopefully we see Ben Simmons play this year. 
Hopefully we can see him. He's been talking about my back, but I've been seeing him dunking. It's like when you're injured and – but I see you dunking in, like, warm-ups – or jumping up, your back game can't be that bad. So at this point, I think it's a mental issue that you're going through. Once you get over that hump, hopefully we see you back. Hopefully we see you back playing with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and Seth Curry and Joe Harris will be back. So hopefully we see you back. And speaking of Kevin Durant, him, Josiah, Clarisai, Sean Marks and Steve Nash all sat down and they discussed their difference and they basically said that he's staying with the team. Steve A put is, they told you though, but it's staying. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. But the asking price that they had for him was very steep. So it was like, y'all basically want to get want them to give up five players, two drive picks, just for Ke- Kevin Durant. Like, yes, Kevin Durant is a great player. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong with it. He's a great player, but I'm not giving up five players and two draft picks. No, that's too high. No, not at all. Can't do it. Won't do it. Matter of fact, Valji, I'm not doing it. That's why Kevin Durant is staying put. That's why he's staying a Brooklyn net. You know, Kyrie's playing on his option, and you just and you're st- you're trying to get out before you even start your four year. 198 million deal that starts this year. Well, I should say that started as of July 31st when the NBA leap year started. So, no, I'm we not letting you go either way. But Bud superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo, he said he'll be open to playing with the Bulls, but right now his loyalty is with the Bucks. He said later down the grid he would love to play where Michael Jordan played at. Playing in the same home as Michael Jordan. But not th- at, at this point in time. Right now, his focus is the Bucks. So, he's going to keep his focus on the Bucks. He's going to keep it moving. But i I'd be interested to see Giannis in the Bulls uniform, though. Hmm. I think I like, I, I think I can picture that. Especially with the quiet we got. Then there will be Booch, Ball, DeRozan. Zach Levine, and then Giannis. Ooh, that lineup is crazy. That right there, that lineup sounds like we gonna win another championship with that. But uh, Jalen Harris has been reinstated by the NBA. He's was last with the Toronto Raptors, and it, he was basically a first first year but it was a drug ban so he's been reinstated by the NBA since it's his first year he had to apply for reinstatement this year since he was in his first year but you know it is what it is he's been reinstated by the NBA so we'll see where he goes there he was playing with Toronto's uh, G League affiliate team you know and we'll see where that goes from there and how that goes and where that goes on top of that. Chicago Skies coach, he didn't like the new format that they implemented this year where the first round games, instead of a win to go home game, it's a best of three like the rest of the games. He didn't really like that this year. And that only um, the top seed team got a first round by instead of the first, the top two teams get a first round by. So he didn't really like that. But at the same time, if you look back, New York beat Chicago their first game, right? I bet you like that new format now because Chicago still has a chance and opportunity to continue going on. But they also beat the Liberty, so now they're just waiting on their next opponents. Um, And that's what we wait on. We wait on their le- – the next opponents as far as who they will play. So, Aces and Liberty, they both are waiting on their next opponent. Yeah. 
So they wait on their next opponent. We're going to see what happens there, what goes from there, what comes of it. Aaliyah Boston leads invitees to the USA training camp. Big ups to that, on that. And then Lakers start LeBron James. LeBron James. He gets a two-year extension worth $97.1 million, which puts him over Kevin Durant as the highest-paid uh, player in the NLB. And it's the highest extension given to a four two year contract. So nine seven mil stand with the Lakers and he ready to do work. He was in doing work in the in the summer league in the dude leagues all over the summer, but now it's time to put that work in in NBA and let's see how Russell Westbrook and Anthony Davis when he comes back healthy, let's see how that goes and where they go from there. But that's all I got for you guys today. So be sure to check in to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, and I'm signing out. Catch you on the next one. Holla at your boy. You listen to Dragon Sports Live. Let's ride. Deuces.